Let's go and pick up my rent of jello. Let's go. I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this cello for about five weeks, I think. So now is the time we get to pick it up. So, okay, let's go. And we're recording. Okay, so I finally have my rental cello. And although I'm in my music room now, I'm keeping it in the guest bedroom. So let's take a look. So the guest bedroom where absolutely no magic happens. In the last weeks, I kept my cello in the guest bedroom and I simply put it on the bed because that seemed just easy. But when I picked up my new cello, it came with a stand. Look! So I have been borrowing my friend's cello for a few weeks until I could pick up my own, well, my own, my own rental cello. And then I thought, why not do a sound comparison? That might be fun. Here it is. Ah! <laughs> there is no label inside. But the luthier said that this cello is roughly 80 years old. I mean, this thing was built before my grandma was born. Also, this cello has been well used, or maybe even misused. I mean, bumpy bumpy here, um, cracky cracky there. Basically, the whole thing is made up from bumps and scratches and repairs, but I actually quite like it. I mean, let's call it vintage, right? Okay, so let's go back to the music room, where the acoustics are better as well, by the way. And let's play a bit. But first, let's put some finger tapes on it. I mean, I think I can do without, but having a tape for the first finger, thumb position on the back and fourth position is actually very handy. So, let's do that.
Okay, so there you have it, my new old cello. I think that this cello sounds a lot nicer than the other one, which is kind of obvious of course, because the other cello is roughly 200 euros and this one is worth a little over 2000 euros. I noticed that playing in tune on this cello was quite a struggle because it just feels different, but I think I'll get used to that in a few days. Uh, the A string is quite loud compared to the others, but I'm guessing that's a cello thing. Um, I looked up the strings that are on this cello and it is super flexible by Thomas Dick. And the description said that these strings sound quite bright. And although I'm usually a fan of a dark and warm sound, the brightness and clarity of this cello is actually quite nice as well. It makes it easier to articulate the notes instead of everything becoming one big blob of notes. Later this week I will return the other cello to my friend and I'll be taking this one with me as well so we can have a little cello jam session. And yes, I will try to make a recording of that. Also, me playing Painted Black from Wednesday on the cello is coming very very soon because that's the ultimate cello song these days, am I right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more cello content and I will see you next time. Bye!